Hi, I'm Mark with Whole Latte Love. I'm here with our tech guru, Todd. We've got something real exciting here to talk about. We have the, we have the Rocket R58 Dual Boiler Espresso Machine, brand new to the United States, and I think we have the first one in the U.S. So we wanted to get some information out yep. on this right away. Rocket's yep. first dual boiler machine mm -hmm. that people have really been anticipating. Yep, yep. Uh, Rocket's always been known for making machines with beautiful style. That's been the thing, and also good components inside, but style has been one of the main draws, and now they put that style into a dual boiler machine. And I know you went to Italy in July of 2011. Yep, yep. I had the opportunity to go to uh, Italy and met with Andrew, who owns it, and then the Rocket team, and got a good tour of the factory, and I saw the prototype of this, and some nice pictures of it. Uh, they do a hell, they have a hell of an operation. The other thing I noticed right away, no digital readout on this. They decided they didn't like the idea of having the PID on the front of the machine, the PID being the digital display. Uh, it takes away from the beauty of the machine, so they added a separate unit that plugs into the bottom and you can do all your programming from there. Now, now one of the things that I, I read that they've done a little bit differently with this machine um, is they are giving you, the when they give you a temperature of the brew boiler, it's an exact temperature. Yeah, the temperature of the brew boiler. Other uh, machines usually have the, the Jakar PID system, and that has a calculation, a built-in offset, which, change, which will uh, calculate the temperature at the brew group based on the boiler temperature that it's maintaining. So that's kind of different than most other machines then, yes. that we're getting the actual temperature in, in the boiler, in the not boiler. a calculation of what's at Correct. the brew room. And you're using the chart to calculate what your actual temperature is at the, at the brew group. Now on the remote you can set the pressure for the service boiler, which is your steam and hot water. Yep. Steam and hot water. The temperature of the brew boiler. Right. Okay. Uh, does four, four languages I saw. Oh, this can be plumbed. So you can tell yeah. it that it's plumbed so yeah. that it'll take and water out of it. that's how you tell the machine. It. You can use the control panel for the PID system. You can program that in four plumbed or reservoir. Okay. And, oh, and the other thing you can do is you could shut the, uh, the service boiler right off if you're working yeah. any, using yeah, any steam, steam or hot water. The steam boiler yeah, right. if you don't want to use that. And the brew boiler is independent of the steam boiler so it doesn't need the hot water coming from the steam boiler to preheat the water going to the brew boiler like with other machines. What are, what are some of the things here that people are going to see that maybe they haven't seen on a, on a rocket before? Okay, well the different style steam valves, uh, different style steam knobs, and steam wands are different also. I, li I like the big R on the, on the steam. Yeah, they steam put that on the there. left one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they had designers come up with that. And the valves on here, I don't think I've ever seen a, such a large valve on a no. machine before. No, I mean these are like commercial. Yeah, they're commercial valves and they're very smooth and you open the close the steam knobs it's a very smooth feel to it. On the left side here, we have a large gauge. That's a steam pressure gauge. Tells you what the pressure in the steam boiler. On the right-hand side is the brew pressure. And that'll, it's set right now to run between eight and nine bar of brew pressure. Uh, so that's basically the pump pressure. On the left-hand side here, we have a light. That light tells you everything's good to go. When you're low on water, that light will flash. And the switch above it is just the main power switch. It just turns the machine on. Todd, let's talk a little bit about brewing and steaming on the rocket. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the commercial grade E61 brew group. Yep, yep. Nine pounds of metal there, right? Yeah, it's all chrome plated brass, same brew group they use on the other machines. And uh, on the side here, you'll see the lever. This lever is three position lever. It's down when you're in the off position, raise it up to the middle position, and it releases some water onto the coffee for pre infusion. Uh, it kind of cooks the coffee a little bit first, and then you raise the lever up and it turns the pump on, you get full pump pressure, which would be set about nine bar. You get the, all the coffee you want, raise, push this lever all the way down, it'll release all the water from the coffee into the drip tray. So you get a nice dry puck with that three-way valve on this? Exactly, yep. 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 And on the side here, we have the steam wand. It has two whole steam tip that it comes with, releases a lot of pressure quickly, so the pressure in the boiler does start to drop a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but it does a nice job, gives a good roll, and you can do eight ounces of milk uh, without a problem. So Todd, the uh, machine does have a commercial style rotary pump? Yeah, the rotary pump, RPM is the brand. Uh, very good, high quality, found on many other rotary pump espresso machines. And the pump pressure is adjustable from underneath the machine. Uh, so in case you ever have to adjust that, it's easy to get at. It's not a big deal. But I noticed that it comes with two porta filters. Yep, single spout and a double spout. Commercial style brass, yep. chrome plated, 58 millimeter yep. standard exactly. stuff. Yep. And then the machine's also plumbable, so it comes with the... It comes with a stainless steel water line and a brass adapter, uh, about a five-foot water line, and then it has a real flexible rubber hose to hook up for the drain line. And I saw the, uh, it does come with a tamper, which... A metal tamper, which is I, nice. You know, but I kind of, for me, it's kind of an interesting choice with the look of the machine that it is metal, but I see so many chrome tampers and the machine's so shiny in this one. Yeah, most machines come with plastic tampers, so, so I'm So, okay, happy, so that's I'm a step up. And of course the logo microfiber cloth for keeping things clean. 
<laughs> so it also has the video from Rocket on how to make a great espresso mm -hmm. um, and, and a scoop. So a nice yeah. selection of accessories with the machine. Yes, it does. All right, Todd, great looking machine um, wrapped in full metal. What sort of metal are we looking at here? It's a 304 <laughs> stainless, which is a very high grade, non-magnetic uh, stainless steel. I also noticed uh, on some of the other rocket machines, the uh, surround around the cup warmer up here is, is not metal. This one is yep, on this machine. Yep, this is all metal. Yep, up on top also you have the stainless steel cup warmer. Passive cup warmer, not electric. This looks like a really cool machine. I mean, I love the look of it. Um, I love the ball joints on everything mm -hmm. here, the huge valves. What, are, what, yeah, what did you notice here? Pretty much the same thing. It looks like a very well-made machine by, by Rocket, as expected. Mm -hmm. um, and it's beautiful, and it looks like it does a great job. We brewed with it, we stained with it. Uh, we like it. We do. How and do and you're, we're going to rip this thing apart, so, so keep oh, yeah, watching. Because we'll, we'll put up a video, we'll show you the guts and, and what's driving this whole thing. Yeah, and that's the part I'm going to really enjoy. All right, thanks, Todd. Whole Latte Love is your source for expert coffee information with more than 200 videos, including how-tos, recipes, machine comparisons, maintenance, and more. Join us on Facebook for more expert advice and coffee lovers fun.